All right. When was the last time I did one of these Chapter 5 updates? Not since February! Hi, D. Bethel here, the creator, writer, and artist of the webcomic Long John, here with the Chapter 5 update for all that have been patiently waiting. It's been a while. A lot has happened. <laughs> Check the website if you're not sure what I'm talking about. But I've been really busy getting a lot done, although not as fast as I nor you would like. So what does that mean in terms of how close the book is to being done? That's 35, 36, one of those two pages of, of story content that are drawn, colored, lettered, finish the rendering on it, and then do a final pass over dialogue just to make sure it's all cohesive and all that fun stuff. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been really close to being done <laughs> for a while. Things just have been busy. What we're doing here today is to reveal two things about chapter five. One, we're gonna reveal the cover. Two, we're gonna reveal the title for this chapter. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best at creating covers. Usually it's just kind of a quick decision because I like to have like very stark, very graphic kind of covers. And usually they kind of come at the end because I, I don't, I'm not a pinup artist. I'm not a graphic designer. I'm not a designer in any sense of the word. So covers are usually the hardest part of the book for me. One of the hardest parts of the book. Not as hard as doing layouts and stuff like that, but you know, you know what I mean. Right? And only twice, including volume five or chapter five, have I actually had an idea of what the cover should look like early on in the process. The other book that that happened to was uh, volume three, which had the daguerreotype of the Johns with, with Long John torn out of the middle, revealing the modern John through the tear. This time, the idea came to me really early on. I kind of pushed it aside because I'm like, that's probably a bad idea if I'm thinking, if I came up with it this early on, it's probably not good. And then I just sketched it out one day. I'm like, oh, I think, I think I can actually do this. <laughs> the interesting thing about this cover is that the process I used is very different than what I've done on any page for Long John up until this point. Basically, I did the pencils on my iPad Pro. I did it all digitally. And then what I did was I printed it out onto the Bristol board that I used to draw comics. Let me see if I can find it. And then I printed it out onto a piece of Bristol board. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the lines are printed out here in kind of a light red. The actual drawings on the other side it was really effective. <laughs> it gave me kind of tighter pencils than I normally draw with not as much time being wasted or paper being destroyed. It was just real seamless. It seems like a viable process that I actually might consider using in the future. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it for Long John because I kind of like the tactile process so far, but we'll see, who knows? The The future is, is wide open because we still have another, at least book to do. <laughs> So I put it off long enough. Let's go ahead and introduce the cover to Long John Chapter 5, Parting Gift. See how that looks. 